Is there anyone in here? Help! Are you Simon? Yes! Who's that? It's I, Diego Dosma. We met before. <laughs> Not such a pleasant memory. Not such a bad one either, young man. Is Petros with you? No. Well, try and find a way to set us free before we die from thirst, will you? Did you say us? A friend of yours is keeping me company. Will you please let yourself be known to our young messiah? I am Mark, Simon. We already met, but you were no more than a kid. What are you both doing here? First, try to set us free. We'll explain later. Act fast. The plague has set its camp in these ruins. Who is the hangman by the entrance? Did they hang someone? How barbaric. This must be the executioner. Sir Mark? Sir Mark? Hurry up, boy! Find a way to open that bloody door. Besides, don't bother me anymore. I'm losing. Losing? What do you mean by losing? Chess. A Moorish game. You focus on that door, young friend. They're playing. I just can't believe they're playing. The door is blocked by a wooden board. Find a way to remove it. Hello, Simon. I am relieved that you set us free. <laughs> I haven't come to set you free. I've come to set Mark free. From you. Quite a different matter. From me? Well, <laughs> that's understandable. But I am afraid that first you will have to set him free from the cage. What does he mean by that? He means we don't have the key. Diego is too tired to move from that chair. I have no idea what they did with it. But I need you to find it for me. First, tell me who did what, how they did it, and... I'm sick of not knowing anything. Can you understand that? That's all right, boy. You have every reason to complain, but time's running against us. The plague has spread around in this area, and I doubt the bonfires and the burning succeeded in stopping it completely. I was a prisoner, as you know. But hear what I gathered of the story. 
there was a gang of bandits who had been rampaging the region for a long time. The Templars finally managed to arrest two of their leaders whom they hanged. Soon afterwards, the plague started. Diego arrived on the very day when the troops were packing. Then, I asked to be left alone here with Mark, in the company of two guards, and an executioner. But the bandits came to have their own revenge. They killed the guards, and the executioner, and apparently hanged one of them. Then, they decided to immure us. Oh. For amusement, I imagine, or from fear that we should have the plague. I don't understand. Weren't you supposed to torture him? That's what he did. I taught him this game, and since then I could not win one single play. You are playing jokes on me again. Forgive us, boy, but we really need to find the key to Mark's cage. We'll answer all your questions when you're done. What held you from torturing him? Don't tell me it's pity. I know what you did in Bézier. You did it in the name of God. You look like a very smart and educated child, but still a very naive one. That kind of trial has very little to do with religion and a lot to do with politics. Can't you see the horror in your speech? I do. But I also see the danger in those so-called Cathars. Do you think the Kingdom of France can afford a civil war? Isn't that what's going to happen anyway? Mm, maybe. But Innocent III has been trying to prevent it for 30 years. Now, the unity of Europe is at stake. Pax et fides, my son. Peace and order justify the sacrifice of human lives. Mark, I hope you don't support this sort of horror and contradictions. I don't accept them, but I have lived through too many of them not to have discovered that they hold a certain part of the truth. Why then? Why the tradition? Why all this? Because, Simon of the Dream, the truth has its limits. And weren't they sometimes violated by the dreams of some? We would live in an animal realm of terror. I have chosen to be one of the dreamers. Now, may I know how an Inquisitor becomes the ally of a heretic over a Moorish game? Diego? You may tell him. Diego used to be one of us. What? The tradition brings together men of all religions. That's its essence. Didn't anyone tell you that yet? 
Our only goal is to gather men of good will around the simple belief that there is more nobility and faith in trying to overcome our differences than in fighting over them. But the Pope sent you. His Excellency is a visionary. He sent me to inquire about this manuscript, which I did. Sir Mark, what does it all mean? He asked him to inquire about it, not to take it and bring it back. Is that answer supposed to make me scream and shout, Eureka, I understand? Then perhaps I'm slightly dumber than you think. You are not. It's just that I can't cast a complete light on this story yet. Your quest isn't over, and it is not my responsibility to rush its conclusion. You have to find Billy Bast. When and where is this supposed to happen? Petrus was to show me the way. Your feet will show you the way. I have a feeling that you will meet him soon. Head for the cliff. His Excellency is a visionary. He sent me to inquire about this manuscript, which I did. Good morning, young man. Good morning. But I know you. Memory speaks a foreign language of which we don't get all the subtlety. This is what makes our perception of the truth so uncertain and our judgments so changeable. We should be much wiser to treat our memories as carefully as we treat our dreams. This is no answer to my question. Oh, so it was a question. <laughs> In that case, the answer is uh, maybe. Now it's my turn to ask you a question. What are you seeking in this wild region? What dream or memory are you running after? I am looking for the house of a man we call Bellybast. No, oh, fire in the fireplace and large stone and walls to protect you from the wind. Indeed, here is a fantasy which fits your situation perfectly. But you haven't answered my question, frankly. What are you really looking for? What is your deepest desire? The one you would not confess to anyone, not even to the little priest in black? I am looking for an answer which seems important in everyone's eyes. And what does this answer represent to you? I don't know, to tell you the truth. I'm afraid that the moment I get it, it will reveal another question even more frightening than the previous one. Which is? Which is, what will I do with it? You've just found part of your answer, young man. Well, this deserves a miracle.
Come here, Simon. At last you found me. You've come a long way, in every meaning of the word. So it's you. The hermit. The tramp in Toulouse. It was you all along. Yes, my son. You must not feel resentful about the little tricks we played upon you. They were far from unmotivated, believe me. And more often than not, you needed a little guidance. Or should you say a little surveillance? That too. You're right. Now what? I'm here. I brought you the manuscript, but you could have had it much sooner. Won't you decipher it and uncover the secret? When and where will Jesus Christ come again? A question worth dying for, according to many. Not for the sake of truth, though, but for the power it would bring to the keeper of this truth. Now that power is yours. Oh, I'm afraid it's not that simple. Your journey isn't over, Simon. A quest can't just be abandoned by the side of the road like some old rag. You haven't travelled all this way to bring me a question. As you said yourself, I could have had this manuscript much sooner. The reason you walked this long and perilous road is to bring me an answer. The answer you've been carrying all your life. Where am I supposed to find that knowledge? Just where any knowledge can be found. At the end of the road. Behind that door. The one you came from. Four knights, three kings, three monsters, many friends and a dangerous foe are awaiting you. They are part of your story. They all are part of your answer. Accomplish your destiny, Simon. You can't stop a marching legend. I'm not sure I want to be a legend. You are not a legend, Simon. You have one. And the only question is whether you will accept it or not. Go now, my son. The pilgrimage isn't over yet.
Who is that? Thank you, my son. You accomplished a holy deed by killing that monster. The King of Lore had sent it to prevent the believers from my illuminating them. I am not the old man you see. We, concepts, are difficult for human beings to portray. This is only the way you want to see me? It doesn't matter. I have had many faces, and this one is not the worst. You came to me because you want to know the true path to God. You did wisely. I am the shepherd. I am the one who sends the holy truth to the prophets, little by little, of course. For the holy truth has some frightening aspects that could overwhelm any human mind which would receive it entirely. There are two gifts I can offer you. Love and salvation. To get them, you will need to break the cages. Only my enemies' weapons have that power. Try to convince them. And beware of the monsters. They are invulnerable as long as they look at you. Here, take my staff. It might help you to kill them if you find a way to avoid their gaze. Good luck, my son. On my life, sir, thou shall not pass, for I am the keeper of that glass. They call me Pagan. I cheat and steal. Hmm. I murder, too, <laughs> and lie. But still thou shall not pass, not in this life, unless you want to be at strife with the Pagan, me, who'll kill thee without remorse nor pain for me. Behind that door, the King of Strength, a fellow to be kept at length, sits enthroned and heavily clad with two treasures to keep him glad. The King of Faith posted me here as a sentry to guard the lair, yet there is something I desire. Your own odds wouldn't be so dire if you could bring me salvation. You could accomplish your mission. I have your word. You have one head. If you fail me, thou shalt be Dead. Don't be afraid. Come closer. You don't look like a hero to me. I smell the stench of the pagan. You didn't kill him, did you? So what do you want? What are you here for? I apologize, Magnificent King, for disturbing you like this, but my life depends on your goodwill. I would need to borrow your axe. To destroy the cages, do you know my wages? Do you see? Not really. The pagan's head, I want him dead. My mighty sword against your word.
Uh, on my word, sir, thou shalt not pass. For, for I'm the keeper of that class. They call me weak. I fear. I fear. I feel anguish in, in my small heart. But still, thou shalt not pass. Not in this life, and unless you want to be at strife with the weak. I, who will kill thee without a shake of, of, of fright for me. Behind that door, the king of law, a fellow, not to be known more, sits enthroned and heavily clad with two treasures to keep him glad. The king of strength posted me here as a sentry to, to guard the lair. It, it, yet there is something I, I desire. Your own odds wouldn't be so dire if you could bring me back power. I could think to let you enter. I have your word. You have one head. If you fail me, thou shalt be dead. What do you want? How did you get here? Is my fetid guardian dead? No, I can smell his rotten breath from here. So tell me, what do you want? Dear King, I have come to ask you for a favor. I would need to borrow your sword. I need it to escape from this place. Escape? My sword? Yes, certainly, take it. Is that all? Yes, providing that you kill my guardian, naturally. Kill him? Yes, it's my request. Nothing much, is it? Don't turn back on your word, though. Be careful. You'd find yourself unable to escape from this place. What have you brought to me, Pilgrim? Will you be hero or victim? Bless you, dear friend. I will be free and find a way to content thee. What have you brought to me, Pilgrim? Will you be hero or victim? Oh, bless you, dear friend. I will be free and find a way to content thee. Thank you. 
Anti Krisis It's most amusing, isn't it? It seems like I am doomed to wait for you, Pilgrim. I preferred our last meeting, though. The surroundings were less... ecclesiastic. <sighs> Adaptation is the key to survival. I'm not afraid of them. Do you hear me, Jacob? I am not afraid. Now, demonstration. I know, it doesn't work. They have their little pleasures, see? They like to mock me. But I will get out. I will. And I'll crush you down. You and your empire of hypocrisy. What now, Simon? You there? Oh. <laughs> By the way, do you know where you are? No, of course you don't. You're in limbo. It sounds exotic, but it's terribly boring. Will you kill me? You're in limbo, you fool. That means it's almost done already. Anyway. I would have beaten you just for the sake of distraction, but they wouldn't allow it. You may kill in the name of God, but not in his own house. How convenient.
What are we doing here? We've been banished. We lost our shadows. Our shadows? Yes. You did when you crossed that reflection. I did when I dived into the river. Without them, we can't live. And we can't die. I have an offer to make to you. Become my shadow. Just surrender your will to me. And we'll become one. We'll be the greatest captain of war in these lands. We'll win fortunes by selling our strength to kings and princes. We'll become the absolute warrior. Just come near me. Free your will. Come and put your hand on my chest. I just caught one. A shadow. I know. We have a problem, Simon. On the one hand, you don't know how to escape this place. On the other hand, I do know, but I can't. So let us trade. There's something you have which I want. The shadow you caught. Give it to me, and I'll give you the secret to get out of here. I give you my word of honor. I am a warrior. My word is my life. I... don't know. You are afraid. I will offer you something pricey. If you give me the shadow. I will set the English Knight's soul free. William's soul? What do you mean? Set his soul free. He offered me his death wish. He turned to me for redemption. This means I have his soul at my disposal. You have the power to grant him salvation. Will you let down a man who died because of you? So. You won't do anything about this, William. You're just as selfish as the rest of them. I will tell you what. Let's gamble. Come on, sit down. I have a game here which will interest you. The rules. We will bet. If I win, you'll give me the shadow. If you win, I'll tell you the secret of escape. Gifted indeed. I'll be true to my oath. I'll give you the answer. The only way to escape is to conclude your quest. Is that all? You liar. You had promised. I am no liar. You're just too foolish to understand. Don't expect me to make things easy for you. Both of us are here because we sacrificed our lives to our quests, but weren't able to conclude them. You won't give up. I won't either. Wandering 
is the price to pay for our relentlessness. The prize of it is hope. is inside yourself. Pax et fides. Pax et fides. Not for the Pope. Not for God. But for man, reason against utopia. Simon! Simon! Where are you? Come back to me. God is mercy. No news. Where are they? What is the secret? What is the secret? Seek, and you shall find. Speak, and you shall be answered. The shadow? What have I to do with the shadow? The shadows have been created from progress and peace. These two entities are the new concerns you acquired during your quest. They are the tradition's cornerstones. Knowledge against darkness, to enforce peace. In any journey, you lose some things, and you acquire some others. This is what you've won during your quest. This is the reason why you have to be born again. But, in order to be born again, you'll have to find the answer. For life is nothing but a question. Have a seat, Simon. Congratulations, boy. I am amazed by what you have accomplished so far. Have a rest. You deserve it. See? You finally found the answer you were looking for. Indeed, it falls to us to make the dream of humanity a dream of light and love. It is true for everyone, no matter his race or religion. This is what we are fighting for. This is the secret of the tradition. You will understand now that it is not the kind of secret that may be revealed to someone. It is the kind of secret that has to be discovered. I'm sure that the latest events give you a much clearer understanding of this whole adventure. There are a few questions we would like to ask you, Simon, a few questions which will enable us to measure whether or not we can ask you the final one. At this point, I think a few questions won't hurt. During your journey, you have approached different religions and beliefs. You are certainly aware that a dreadful campaign is being prepared. Men from the north will soon march against the south of France. Who will be the victims of this so-called crusade?
The Cathars? You are no doubt aware that there are many reasons for that war. Who is its initiator? The Pope Innocent the Third. And whom did he need to convince for that matter? The King of France, Philip. What event acted as a spark? The assassination of Pierre de Castelnau. This merchant you've met, the one who helped you find Petrus's track, had the revenge and used you as his valet. Who was his machination aiming at? Diego Dosma? Who had sent this Diego Dosma? Innocent the Third did. Who was he supposed to take his orders from? From Arno, the abbot of St. Cernin. What were these orders? To find and torture you. What information did he expect to get from me? The manuscript. They all wanted to know where the manuscript was. You definitely are a bright young man. That's all from me. Now, Simon, I will ask you a few more questions, if I may. Those Catars who were persecuted, what is the name of their main sacrament? The Consulamentum. What do they call themselves once they have received it? The perfect ones, I believe. Can you tell me what name they give to their messenger? Paraclete? You're absolutely right. Now, something different. Durandale, the magic sword. Whom did it belong to? To Roland. Which great king was he serving? Charlemagne. Good. Let's talk about Hades. Why was he a prisoner in limbo? Because he hadn't completed his quest. And what was he trying to achieve? To become one with me. Excellent! My turn to speak and ask, Simon. I have three riddles for you. Here is the first one. I am not what people think I am. I am carried and I carry. I am the vessel of truth, though I am a fake. The manuscript. Very good. Now, my second riddle. I come escorted by fearsome guards. I am feared and expected. No ending, though it's how it starts. The apocalypse. Yes. Pay attention now, for this is the last. I live between earth and sky. I have offered something precious to someone special. I'll be one of the answers to the final question. Isabeau? Yes, Isabeau. I am proud of you, my boy. Now is the time of choice. Simon de Lancroix, you have proved to yourself that you're worthy of your father's name. 
that you deserved our confidence, and above all that you deserved your own legend. You've held your dreams high like a banner. Today is the day when victory is announced on the battlefield, when the hero puts his sword away and looks behind him. His eyes embrace the plain, without nostalgia, and he's filled with respect for what he used to be and is no longer. Also with respect for everyone who took a scale off his changing skin and helped with his mutation. For the fulfilment of a man is just like a kingdom and never is the fruit of a solitary path. The tradition today proposes to you, the youngest among us, to become our champion, to fight the good fight with us, to get men closer to each other, to join them together above all different beliefs beneath the eye of God. For peace and agape against hatred and certainty. Simon de Longcroix, do you want to join the soldiers of the dream? Simon de Longcroix, do you want to become the bugle which will announce the realm of free men in a world of lost men? Yes, I want to. Kneel down, pilgrim. A thousand of them could fall at your side and ten thousand to your right, still you will never be touched. No harm will befall you, no plague will find your tent. For to your angels you will give orders that they protect you on all roads. You will trample the lion and the asp underfoot. You will have the lion cub and the dragon at your feet.